So Marta, you've only been in your role for four weeks. That's right, yeah. How are you finding it? It's, it's, it's fabulous. Um, I've got a, a really great team and we've got really good springboard to start on um, 2017 planning for next year. How is it culturally differ from your, uh, your previous role in NatWest? Well, I worked in NatWest for, um, for eight years, so there, there are bound to be some differences. Um, but I think with all mortgage lenders, you know, we're there to, to serve the customer and um, help them buy a new home. So actually the differences aren't that great. So Leeds' main focus is at interest only, right? Uh, or one of its main it's, focuses? Yeah. It's one of our areas, yeah. So what, what, tell me about the opportunities in that space. Well, I think there are, you know, we believe that there are huge opportunities in that space. Um, primarily because um, some of the research we've done in, in recent months shows us that there's going to be about 400,000 mortgages coming to the end of their term in the next um, three to four years. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of customers that uh, need help and advice to know what to do next. So what customers in particular do you think can benefit from your interest-only products? I think there'll be two types of customers. There'll be the new customers, and we think that they'll be mainly high net worth, um, maybe people that already have a pension in place, um, asset rich, or have some savings that they can use as a repayment vehicle. And the other types of customers are maybe um, customers that have had an interest-only mortgage for you know, 20 or so years that might be coming to the end of their term. They may want to remortgage and possibly look to refinance or you know, go for a new fixed rate. So part and part mortgages, that's, that's, a, that's a big area for Leeds. Where else can you, um, can you innovate in that space? Yeah, I think um, part and part offers even more flexibility than interest-only. So where are you looking at a part and part mortgage in, um, in the, at the Leeds, we will do 60% loan to value for interest only, and then we'll offer an extra 15% on capital and interest. So again, if you're looking at those customers that maybe did want to remortgage, but are looking at a shortfall at the end of their term, and the thematic review by the FCA showed that there could be as much as £22,000 shortfall for some clients, you know, that will really help them to look at that shortfall, put a great repayment strategy in place, but maybe not give them too much of a, um, a payment shock. So obviously if they went totally onto capital and interest, their um, monthly payment would shoot up. So what other underserved areas is Leeds focusing on? Um, I think it's a good point that you pick up on underserved areas because we do like to look at different segments within the market to try and create that diversity. So. As an example, we look at things like um, shared equity and shared ownership, we're really strong in that market. Um, holiday lets, um, possibly um, new builds, if you think of that as an underserved area, we're very strong, um, strong in new builds. And um, underpinning all of that, we've got a, a really great array of products, um, a lot of exclusive products as well, and um, I think we'll continue to do that into, into next year and beyond. So what will Leeds do to support the intermediary going into 2017? Um, first of all, I think it's, it's fair to say we are um, an intermediary friendly society. We do our vast majority um, of our mortgages through the intermediary sector. Um, our main aim, of course, is to serve the customer, um, make sure that they have the home that they aspire to have for themselves and their families. Um, and we will do this by continuing to, you know, to innovate and to think about the products that we bring to market throughout 2017. Um, but you know, we will continue to be there for the intermediary into 2017 and beyond. You're also quite big on charity work, right? Yeah, we, we do. We do a lot of a lot of charity work. Um, we give everybody a voucher at the start of the year to take one day off to support a charity of their choice. Um, and that really helps us to become part of the community. Um, last week we had one of our teams into a local school clearing out a, a garden area and you know doing painting fences and stuff. Creates, you know, as I say, that link with our community, but also um, a good way to, um, to build teams. Um, I think they really enjoyed it. We've got some great pictures. Right, thank you, Martez. It's good to meet you. I'm sure I'll see you again. Thanks ever so much. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs>